Hey there, hi there, ho there. Hello there. My name is Adam, and this is Caputi Inc. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I've been having some problems lately with uh, the snowplow lights cracking out. You can see this right here is a brand new, brand new deal. It, I think it only got like an hour or two use on it and cracked. But I did notice that these things were uh, fractured right out of the box. They were brand new with some sort of shipping or maybe a manufacturing defect most likely. Um, I did notice that these don't have the buyer's brand on the back of them. Um, but the ones, these old bastards, which lasted a really long time do. It's just that the metal on the bottom here is rusted and torn out and ripped. So they're really not that usable anymore. They don't, they don't tighten up, they don't stay on. But I was thinking that I do have a brand new plate right here. So uh, in this video, we're going to try to swap these nice plates over to the shitty ones here. Just drill out some of these rivets and stuff. And we maybe even take this nice, clean new front housing off and put it on the on this one here too. This one doesn't appear to be in bad shape. Maybe a little bit of the reflectives coming off in there. So uh, let's get to it. Let's see what we can figure out. All right, so there we got it off. That's a, that's a sweet, sweet honey we've been looking for there. The nectar, like a bee buzzing around. Uh, we'll take a drill and we'll get rid of these rivets. Two, four, six, eight rivets. And then uh, we'll do the same on this guy here. Grind the rivets out and everything looks to be straight up. I think what's going on here, I think this is a, a Chinese knockoff. Uh, motherfucker stealing our intellectual property again. Or vice versa, I'm gonna say that America made it first. I'm guessing they don't get snow in China. I was never a geography major, but. Uh, so we're gonna get that uh, drilled out, that drilled out, try and rub it back on and see if we can't save ourselves 150 bucks. So these, right here, uh, case I bought from Seven Rivers in Hoka, Don. Go down and see Don. 99 bucks, you can't read it from there, I don't know what I'm trying to show you. Uh, I paid 99 bucks for these. Uh, let's see here, what are they called? A jobber drill set, uh, 29 piece, golden black bully premium. I've uh, been really impressed with these. I've had these for like a year and a half. I broke one uh, in a year and a half, and I think I've dulled two other ones, and I use most of the sizes in this. Uh, pretty impressive. When it's time to get another set, a year or two from now or whatever, uh, I plan on buying the exact same set. Uh, very impressed. here too um, there must be some sort of this stuff is just crumbling it's brand new and it's just crumbling I wonder if there's some sort of heating process that goes through or what but I have no idea but it's damaging the lights before I get them I filed the claim with eBay I got a feeling I'm not really gonna get much out of the deal because I didn't I went ahead and installed them because I needed them so whatever we'll try and fix one of these and see if we can't uh, like I said save ourselves a few bucks Hopefully these don't stand up too tall. I guess we'll find out when we try and put the light back together. All right, it's in, but it's kind of looking like the two middle rivets here are too tall on the inside. I was initially using, what are these, quarter inch? They're 3 16th rivets with a quarter inch shoulder on them and they just were barely getting through so I had some 3 16th with a half inch shoulder on them uh, but that makes them too tall but it really only matters for these front two so we're going to pop this back apart. I'm going to knock those two out and try and put the shoulder, shorter ones in there. They should fit a little bit better. Um, now that the whole plate's compressed down it'll be a lot easier to work with. that gasket in place for fucking around. Mm. 
there we have it. Uh, replace that bottom bracket off another one and uh, save myself a little bit of money. Rinse and repeat on this other one here and we should be back in business with a nice little extra set of lights laying around. All right, there it is, the sweet honey. We got it again. We're gonna hammer that flat. We got a nice, I think this is three quarter inch thick, maybe even an inch thick, inch thick top here. So this is good enough to hammer on. We'll get these pieces leveled out a little bit and we'll get them riveted back onto the, to the housing here. Like that, we've salvaged two extra headlights. So, little Setsky there. Huh? Check them out, boys. <laughs> That's gonna do it for this video. Got a couple of headlights fixed. We'll be able to swap those in and out on the ones that are inevitably gonna break off. The other plow trucks, because they were cracked right away when they got out of the out of the box. So, those will probably just get junked. I got a couple of. Uh, light bars on the way that have two different sets of lights in them. They're a, they're a spotlight and a floodlight. Uh, they're DOT approved apparently, so we're gonna try and run those as headlights. And then I bought some LED lights, blinker setups that go on motorcycles. They have an adhesive back and I do believe there's a place to add a screw through them. So we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna try and add a little better lighting to the front of the plows instead of these, these plastic deals. I end up replacing them every year, year and a half. Um, they're probably the cheapest ones you can get maybe the next level up from the cheapest ones so it's no surprise that they break but they shouldn't be breaking within an hour like they have been so uh check us out on facebook uh please like the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks